hi guys welcome back we are doing vlogs again so i have been in a reading slump for the past like month basically ever since christmas i just i don't know i've only been listening to audiobooks um i've been annotating my copy of little women but that's kind of like an ongoing project what better way to get out of a reading slump than to go to the bookstore i'm going to a barnes and noble i know it's basic but i don't really have any like good bookstores that aren't barnes and noble near me that aren't used bookstores and i'm looking for like very specific things so i'm gonna go to barnes and noble and you know i got books for christmas but they're not books that you read to get out of a reading slump like i'm not about to read anna karenina right now like it's like in a thousand page book it's a classic like it's obviously a great book and it's gonna be good once i get into it but now is not that time like i need some like easy two three hundred page cheesy romance something like that just to get me out of the slump and then I can get into the rest of the books that I got for Christmas. I feel like very Lorelai Gilmore today. I'll show you guys my outfit in some footage later on. But we're gonna go book shopping. I'll probably do a haul when I get home. And I'm also gonna go to the grocery store. I've been wanting to start baking again. And especially since like Valentine's Day is coming up, I feel like now is a good time. And I've been seeing these like love letter pastries on Pinterest everywhere. And I really wanna try to make them. So I'm gonna go to the store and get the ingredients for that and we're gonna make them together. And it's gonna be really fun. So I'll see you guys in there. So I figure now is a great time to tell you about my outfit as I peruse through the back alleyways of this suburban Barnes & Noble. So my jacket is from Princess Polly. I literally wear this one all the time. It very much gives me a Lorelai Gilmore kind of vibe. My top is from Hollister. My jeans are from PacSun. I have on these chunky Mary Janes that are from Nasty Gal. My bag is from Brandy Melville and my little locket necklace is from Hot Topic. Okay guys, I have a book haul for you. Now, this looks like a lot of books and then I spent a bunch of money, but I only got three books at Barnes and Noble and the rest of this book haul will be the books that I got for Christmas that I wanna show you guys. So starting with the books that I just bought, first book is called The Idiot. I have seen this book all over Pinterest and it's always intrigued me. I do tend to judge books by its cover and cover that is light pink. I'm automatically going to be interested in it. And I read the back of it and I was like, wow, that actually sounds really interesting and like a really good book to read during Valentine's Day. I'll just read you what the back says. The year is 1995 and email is new. Celine, the daughter of Turkish immigrants, arrives for her freshman year at Harvard where she signs up for classes in subjects she has never heard of. But friends, her charismatic Siberian classmate, Betlana, and almost by accident begins corresponding with Ivan, an older mathematics student. Celine may have barely spoken to Ivan, but with each email they exchange, the act of writing seems to take on a new and increasingly mysterious meaning. When the school year ends, Ivan goes to Budapest and Celine heads to the Hungarian countryside. Her summer does not resonate with anything she has previously heard about of the typical experience of college students, but rather is the beginning of a journey further inside herself, a coming to grips with the ineffable and exhilarating confusion of first love and with the growing consciousness that she is doomed to become a writer. And the quote at the bottom says, easily the funniest book I've read this year. Very excited to read this one. Next is A Certain Hunger. I have seen this like almost every time I go to Barnes and Noble and I always think about getting it. So I finally just went ahead and got it and I started reading this last night. This is a weird book. <laughs> if you like my year of rest and relaxation like that kind of writing style or like any sylvia plath like the bell jar and stuff like that i think you would like this book um it does deal with more uh gruesome topics so beware i would recommend this like 18 plus i know i have an audience of like all ages i don't want to be out here like recommending this to a 14 year old so if you're young do not read this book viewer discretion is advised and i read like the first 50 pages last night and i'm already hooked definitely think this one will help me get me out of my reading slump. I also think that the cover art 
is amazing. The last one I got at Barnes and Nobles is Daisy Jones and the Six. I have been wanting to read another Taylor Jenkins Reid book because I read Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Absolutely loved it, like everyone else did. I'll just read you guys the back of this one again. Daisy is a girl coming of age in LA in the late 60s, sneaking into clubs on Sunset Strip, sleeping with rock stars, and dreaming of singing at the Whiskey A Go Go. Her voice is getting noticed, and she has the kind of heedless beauty that makes people do crazy things. Also getting noticed is The Six, a band led by the brooding Billy Doon. On the eve of their first tour, his girlfriend Camilla finds out she's pregnant, and with the pressure of impending fatherhood and fame, Billy goes a little wild on the road. Daisy and Billy cross paths when a producer realizes that the key to supercharge success, success is to put the two together. What happens next will become the stuff of legend. The making of that legend is chronicled in the riveting novel written as if it were the oral story of one of the biggest bands of the 70s. In Daisy Jones and the Six, Taylor Jenkins Reid brilliantly captures an unforgettable place and time in an utterly distinctive voice. So I'm very excited to read this and there is, I think a TV show coming out about this book or based on this book so I kind of wanted to read that before watching the tv show because the tv show looks really good and I think Suki Waterhouse is playing the main character so pretty cool very excited about that as well okay next um some books that I got for Christmas I'll show you guys first one is Anna Karenina my brother got me this for Christmas he's really into Russian classics so he was trying to convince me that I need to read it and I definitely will at some point this year maybe not right now I'm just like like this is a this is a very big book, you know, and it's gonna take me a while, so I have to be like in the right headspace. But I will read this at some point. I might like download it as an audiobook and like read parts of it, listen to parts of it, so I can kind of get through it a little bit faster. But if you have read this, let me know if it's worth it. Next, I ended up getting two copies of The Tenant of Willfell Hall. I had this on my Christmas list wish list and my dad got me one and my best friend got me one. Now I have two. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the other one yet. Maybe I'll give it to someone else as a gift or something like that. We'll see. But for now, they're just on my bookshelf far away apart so that they don't look like I have two books. I'm trying to collect these like Barnes and Noble cloth bound books. So I really had those on my quish Christmas wish list and I'm glad I got these. Uh, I've been wanting to read this book for a while. Another one that was on my Christmas wish list was Dracula. And obviously, like, the cloth bound books are just so perfect, so beautiful. I love the way they all look together on my bookshelf. And I have not read Dracula yet, so I'm very excited to. But I don't know if I'm gonna, like, wait to read this until fall comes around, just because I feel like this is, like, a fall kind of book. I feel like I'm not gonna be interested in that vibe until, like, October, so we'll see. <laughs> Lastly, this is not a book, but my sister got me this for Christmas as well, and it's a notebook but it's handmade by, I think she got it from like a, um, what's that called? A farmer's market. Every page is like different materials though, so it's really cute. There's like little like letters and things, some link pages, some line pages, and I think I can do some creative things with this. Also, the cover of this kind of reminds me of the cloth found books as well, so they look nice on my bookshelf together. But yeah, that is the entire haul. Definitely let me know what is on your reading list, what you have been reading. Let me know your book recommendations. I would love to know, but yeah. You guys, I just went to the one and only Trader Joe's. And you know what, when I get home, I am going to do a haul for you guys because I love watching people's grocery store hauls. I don't know why, I find it inspiring. And I especially like those hauls when it's a Trader Joe's haul. It got really chilly outside, so I put this coat and scarf on. I'm gonna go home, gonna do a haul, and then going to bake some pastries. Okay, I know nobody asked for a Trader Joe's haul, but that is not going to stop me from giving you one. So let's get into it. Okay, here we are starting over here. We have a ciabatta baguette. These are so good. And I'm gonna make pasta later this week. And I like having that with it, you know, as like a little side. Caesar salad mix. I am in my Caesar salad era right now i don't know it's just something that i'm like always craving when i want like a healthy salad i just always go for the caesar head of broccoli my nails not cute right now some strawberries okay this is like all for the pasta that i'm gonna make so it's like a feta tomato kind of pasta we have some noodles feta cheese cream cheese olive oil and tomatoes so that's kind of all of the trader joe stuff i got not a lot i don't know why i was thinking i got more but i did go to 
H-E-B earlier and I got the stuff to make those pastries. So here's some like pastry dough, eggs, um, jam, and I'm gonna try some with Nutella as well. This is the entire grocery store haul. Okay guys, so we are making love letter pastries. Ingredients, you're gonna need shortcut pastry sheets, flour, sugar, eggs for the egg wash and jam of any kind i'm using strawberry jam i'm also going to use nutella for a few of them i'm more of like a chocolate girl myself so i wanted to try a few of them with the jelly a few of them with chocolate this phyllo dough is like the only kind that i could find at the grocery store i was trying to get the pillsbury one because that's what this recipe had so hopefully this works but it was literally like the only thing i could find so it's gonna have to work so let's get into it okay guys starting out with just rolling the dough out onto a flat surface i cut it into a diamond shape this definitely is not the correct dough but you know we're just working with what we have trying to make the best of it i'm spreading the jam out onto the dough just right there in the center i kind of shaped it into a little bit of a heart just for the aesthetic of it all after that i went ahead and just folded that diamond into a letter shape basically how you would with like real paper and i'm just adding butter onto the dough just to kind of make it stick a little bit easier once you've done that i kind of just added some more jam onto the top of it just to make it look prettier i kind of wanted to have that effect that it was spilling out just a little bit more honestly regardless of this being the wrong dough i still feel like they look very cute and aesthetic i'm definitely going to try to make these again someday it was kind of a major flop but you know what that just happens sometimes and i am no professional baker if they were still fun to make still pretty yummy but definitely want to try this recipe again sometime Okay guys, that is everything I have in today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was fun for me to film. I got to do a bunch of like cute and fun, cozy activities that I already enjoy to share it with you guys. So let me know what you guys think of the vlogs. I was kind of thinking of maybe doing like at least one vlog a month with like a different theme. Like maybe I'll do like a self-care vlog, maybe more cooking vlogs, maybe like a thrift with me kind of vlog, like that kind of stuff. So let me know what you guys think of that and I'll definitely try to incorporate more vlogs. Every time I ask you guys like what kind of videos you want to see, people always say vlogs, but they don't really do that well on my channel. So it's a little bit confusing for me. So definitely let me know what you want to see next in general. If you want to see vlogs, alpha videos, just let me know. I do have Instagram, Pinterest, and TikTok. All that will be linked down below. I think that's everything. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day or night whenever you're watching this and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.